Uh, this is from Eric Spolstra on Jimmy Butler's impact. You can't quantify it. There's no analytic to it. Just the feeling of stability in the locker room. There's just a settling effect that is impossible to quantify. And Seth, this is sort of an analytics show. Um, do you guys have any analytics for intangibles? No, that's why they're intangibles. If we had analytics for them, they would be, they would be tangibles. But this is an important point is like a lot of times people say, say stuff like that and it's bullshit. Like our culture, blah, 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 blah. Our, this is such a leader, blah, 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 blah. Which it's, it's bullshit unless it isn't. And, you know, certain cases like, you know, okay, Damian Lillard, Tim Duncan being great leaders. I think that there's some some pretty strong evidence of that. Jimmy Butler having a settling of playoff Jimmy Butler specifically having a settling effect on his teammates. I think at this point is it's pretty hard to contest that as a just the, the fact that you have guys who are playing quote unquote above their head so consistently because they believe in what they're doing and that that kind of coming from well, we got the best guy, so let's follow him and we'll get there. Um, I, I, you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to quantify that. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Like, how does how do you have? And maybe it's to some extent this is probably Spolster being like a little bit modest. Oh, because I think it's probably as much Spo as it is to be Butler. Like Gabe Vincent. No, I'm I I I am a playoff starting player. Caleb Martin. No, I am any shot I take. This is a great shot. I can go head to head with anybody, and it's and it's going to work. And just, you know, you can look down and say, you know, you Max Cruz, Gabe Vincent, like Kyle Lowry still like Kyle Lowry coming off the bench, Kyle Lowry coming off the bench, Kevin Love coming off the bench. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that that stands out to me. But you're right. It is a lot of Spo being modest because he, he mentioned stability. The Miami Heat as an organization, I mean, how long has Spo been the coach now? Was it what? What was it? 2010? 2015 14 15 years yeah pat riley has been in miami for 30 years almost at this point um that's where the stability like you have a culture because you have a program and it's different than most teams in the nba mo i mean you you were part of the program in san antonio it's it's similar same same vibes right i mean setting culture and maintaining your culture is probably the hardest things you can do as an organization. And I think the beauty of it with the heat is, and we talk about this a, a ton, perfect alignment from the the top all the way down. And I think it's, it's, and the expectations players know when they come in, this is what's expected of us. You're expected to work your ass off. You're expected to be tough. We don't give a shit about other things. You know, we don't, we don't care about that, that kind of attitude and things like that. Being able to maintain that culture for as long as they have, it's goddamn impressive, man. It's so tough to keep that up. Just ask the Spurs. It's hard. It's so hard to maintain that. And I think that's one of those, that's kind of the genius in this team in what they've done and and sort of like, and they found the perfect guy for them in Jimmy Butler. And I mean, just we're what, 14 months, 15 months removed from Jimmy and Spo literally wanting to fight on the court. Spo's turning to Jimmy going, you want to fight me? Like there's literally like that type of stuff. And there was nothing. There was no real, pro- there was no suspension from the organization of Jimmy. They weren't turning around and ready to fire Spo. Like there's just a level of just like, this is who we are. I mean, they are, they are incredibly they're insane as yes. an organization. Like they're, they're psychopathic in a way. And like, like let me put it, I was thinking about it when I was walking the dog the other day, I don't think I could ever work for the heat. I don't think I'm tough enough. Like it's that simple. Like they're, they're, their way. Like I like other things. I like going to the movies and like that would be looked as a black mark with them. And that's kind of how they approach things. And I think that's sort of the, the stuff there with their culture. And they try to find guys that are all about that.